The alleged victims in the Penn State sexual abuse scandal are sending word they are ready to stand up, summoning the courage to testify against former football coach Jerry Sandusky, outraged by his claim that he did nothing wrong. ABC's Jim Avila is on the case once again for us tonight. Jim. Diane, ABC News has learned exclusively that at least two of the eight victims of the prosecutors say were assaulted by Jerry Sandusky are in fact ready to stand up and testify against him in court, including victim number one, who told me exclusively, or his, mo or his mother told me exclusively, that he is ready to go. We can only identify her as the mother of the boy prosecutors call victim number one a boy who told the grand jury he was repeatedly sexually assaulted in Coach Sandusky's basement. Is your son anxious to testify against him? He's scared, but he's anxious. He's, he's ready. He, he wants to do it. He wants him to go to jail and he wants him to pay for what he's done. Now a second boy is ready to testify, according to his attorney, a boy who claims Jerry Sandusky savagely raped him. He's not going anywhere. He fully intends to testify. Attorney Ben Andrazi tells ABC News this afternoon that his client was outraged by Sandusky's portrayal of what happened to him as horseplay. I think he would like to see Mr. Sandusky uh, assume responsibility for the, the horrible acts that he committed on him. Two boys who will join this coach, Mike McQuarrie, as the prosecution's main witnesses against Sandusky. McQuarrie is the man who says he witnessed a full-on rape in the Penn State locker room and now claims in emails to friends he told not just Joe Paterno about it, but police. A statement both the municipal and university police department said today they could find no record of. Former District Attorney Mike Madeira says McQuarrie will still be a strong witness for prosecutors. They said the testimony of Mike McCreary was credible. And tonight, more heat on the governor of Pennsylvania, who started the Sandusky investigation in 2009 as attorney general. I know you all want me to talk about this case, but I really can't. In a testy exchange with reporters who wanted to know why it took so long for an indictment. If I felt comfortable when I was there to make the arrest, we would have, but we weren't there yet. It came afterwards. As I said, I did those cases. I have done child predator cases. We move them as quickly as we possibly can. And tonight, the controversial judge who gave Sandusky that low bail and didn't require him to wear an electronic monitoring device has been replaced by a judge from outside the area. Diane? A new development every day, and thank you, Jim Avala.